little kitty. Are you okay? Kitty wants to fly. Hmm, well, you should be thankful for not being able to fly. That's a question we will explore with our lovely audience by answering a soaring question. What if you could fly? Zoom in! Imagine you got the ability to fly like your favorite superhero soaring across the sky. Now, you don't have to worry about reaching late at school or the office due to traffic or be concerned about spending money on air flights. On top of that, you could travel across the world and seven seas at will. So, no wonder being able to fly is the most desired superpower we could have. But the vital question is, is it really possible for humans to fly without the help of machines or tools? Well, unfortunately, science says it's not. That's because Humans are not physically designed to fly as the birds do due to their lightweight, hollow bone structure and of course, wings to create lift against the force of gravity. To know more about how birds fly, please check out the video on the same later. But for the sake of this video, let us assume that a supernatural force grants your wish to fly high within the limitations of your human structure. Will that help? Well, even in that case, laws of physics can overpower your superpower. Yes, according to Newton's third law of motion, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So it means, even while running, your foot is exerting force on the solid ground and the locked particles of ground push back against your foot, causing you to accelerate forward with good speed. Even when you are swimming, you have to push water molecules to generate force. But as water molecules slide back easily, unlike solid particles, we can't generate enough speed. Similarly, when it comes to air, it has more free space for particles to move past one another. So it seems you would need to push a lot of air particles backward in order to move forward, which will consume a lot of your energy and eventually you'll have no choice but to keep floating. But even if you manage to gain the ability to speed up, Flying at greater height will still be a distant dream. That's because, according to ideal gas law, as the pressure decreases, the gas volume increases. And as the higher altitudes have low atmospheric pressure, the gases inside your body would begin to quickly expand like a soda that fizzes up when shaken. This could result in extreme pain and paralysis and can even be fatal at times. Not only that, but due to less atmospheric pressure, the temperature is very cold above the sky. So, without a protective suit to sustain your body temperature, the person can suffer from hypothermia and eventually fall down. So, considering all these factors, we can only manage to fly a few meters above the ground. But even then, you'll have to face many obstacles like electrical wires, billboards, birds, insects, and what not. However, despite all the hurdles, I'm sure no one would mind taking a few bumps for a great superpower like flying. Trivia time! Did you know the world's highest flying bird is the bar-headed goose? Yes, according to the study, this Asian goose can fly up and over the Himalayas in only about eight hours. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox. Zoom.